Can I just say for the record, nothing in life prepares you for a finger in your rectum. Most undignified. Being one of six pups, I'm pretty used to having the odds stacked against me, especially when you consider that I was once the runt of the litter. There I'd be, this frail little mite, caught up in the struggle for nourishment, whilst my siblings gorged themselves on my mother's love. Where's my nipple? I'd say to myself. Still, as time went on, one by one, they found new homes, leaving just me and her with more milk than we knew what to do with. Oh, I could barely contain myself. Soon enough, she dried up and died. Yet I went on to be the fine figure of health you see standing before you today. Well, fairly fine. As age 46, I'm subject to the occasional complication. Most recently, when I developed an itch in my unmentionables. And by that, I mean a gland in my anus had inflamed and needed squeezing. I was quite happy soothing myself on the dining room rug, its raised texture the perfect antidote to my suffering. Regrettably, though, I woke him up in the middle of the night, knocking over furniture in pursuit of the perfect angle. Following morning, he tried to leash me mid-friction. I gave a good argument from under the table, but before I could finish my point, he'd coaxed me into the car with a biscuit. In the boat, all let up that I'd been so easily manipulated, I felt an immense anger whelming up inside me, ordering me about, thinking he knows best. What do you take me for, I tell him. And then I think, calm down, Ben. You simply underestimated the negotiational impact of a Garibaldi. It could happen to anybody. En route I experienced a mysterious tingling sensation where my balls used to be, and what with being attuned to my sixth sense, I realise we're heading for the vet. Dragged by the scruff and lifted onto the table's cold surface, the vet holds me down to have an impolite rummage about my fundament. Naturally, feeling a little sensitive, it all got too much for me, and I locked my jaws around his arm. This came as quite a surprise to the vet, who, taking emergency action, proceeded to insert what felt like a second finger, causing my jaw to involuntarily relax into submission. Hmm. Here I felt an overwhelming sense of peace and tranquility washing over my body, and I feel love for everyone in the room. This is it, I said to myself, defeated. This is the moment of my death. Fortunately, it wasn't, as before I knew it, I was back in bed with a sore head and a shaved arse. Blimey, what a night, I thought. Still, it felt good to be alive, and with that I slept like a puppy for days. All in all, I feel much better now. I suppose I've got you to thank for that, looking out for me. Here you go, just a little something. I picked it especially. I don't know why I bother. <laughs>